Dylan is with us in Maryland. Hi, Dylan. How are you? Hey, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve, man. What's up? Um, okay, so I've been listening for about a year now, and due to some really bad life issues, I made some really bad decisions, and I'm now uh, 24, 25,000 in the hole, uh, and I just, I don't know how to get out of it. Um, the debt is a credit card, so it's $800 on a credit card. Um, 23500 in a car loan, and then I owe my mom money for a car I just bought off of her so I could try to get out of the actual car loan. Um, the one with my mom, she's already told me that uh, all my other bills need to come first, but I went to the dealership trying to sell this car, and they said that I can't make payments on the difference because I do owe more than it's worth. Um, so it looks like my only option is to voluntary surrender or private sell it and try to save the difference. And I just don't know how to get out of this. And it's, it's causing fights with me and my girlfriend and I'm stressed about it and I'm losing sleep over it. And I, Why I just don't know Why is the car causing fights with you and your girlfriend? Um, the car isn't just the financial stress that I've been under. Oh, just that. Yeah. You're freaked out. And so you're not fun to be around. Okay. I can go along with that. Um, so how old are you? 18. Holy crud. How much do you owe your mother? Uh, I owe her about 800 bucks. Oh, good. Okay. And what do you make? Uh, if I work 60 hour weeks, I can make $1,600 every two weeks. So 3,200 a month. So you're making about 50,000 bucks a year. Um, or you, that's gross or net? Um, take home. That's, um, take home. Okay. Yeah. So you're making about 50 grand. What do you do? I work at Amazon. I'm, I load trucks. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. And, and what is the Kelly blue book private sale on the car that you owe 23,500 on? Private sale is about 19,000. Okay. So you're $4,500 off. And the dealership won't work with you on that. Who do you owe the money to? Chrysler Capital. Who? Chrysler Capital. Chrysler. No, they will not let you work out the difference. No, none of the car financing companies will. Um, have yeah, you paid? I called the them and they said they my won't. only option was yeah, to um, cover the difference. You voluntary have... surrender. No, that's not the only option. You got to cut. You got to cover the difference. Um, you do not want to voluntary surrender this car. We're going to work this out. Okay. Okay. Uh, how much is your rent? Eight hundred dollars a month. Okay. All right. So here's the thing. To start with, we're going to take a little pressure off, and uh, you don't have to pay your mom anything right now. And it, when you sit down and do a written, detailed budget with three thousand two hundred dollars coming in, and you pay the payment on the rent, and you buy some food to eat. Um, and you keep gas in your car, and you work 60 hours a week or more, um, you have the money to pay the car payment for right now. It's a dumb purchase. It was crazy. You shouldn't have bought it, and yes, you need to get rid of it, but you do not have to turn it in. You can pay the payment for now. Okay, I don't want you to keep it. I'm going to help you get out of it. But you need to get yourself organized with your monthly expenses on a budget. So go to Every Dollar and download the Every Dollar app. And when I take 3200 minus 800 for your rent, minus some money for food and gas, and minus a car payment, I got money left over here. Now, you're not going out every night partying, and your little girlfriend may not see you for a while unless she wants to come over and watch TV. But, uh... We're not going to be running around spending money on anything. We're in the middle of a crisis. Agreed? Yeah, agreed. I don't, I'm not a partier anyway. Okay, good. So we just got to get you organized because you have the ability to make enough to pay these bills for now. But then we have to get you out of this car because it's land of stupid. All right, so you need $4,500. There's two places we can get that. One is you could save it up, or two is you could borrow it somewhere else. Okay, so I want you to go talk to your local credit unions around the area. I want you to go talk to some small uh, small banks in the area uh, and, and see if you can scratch up a $5,000 personal loan. 
crap, man. Even if you put it on a credit card, you would be $5,000 in debt instead of $23,000 in debt. It would be a good move. Agreed? Yeah. Now, um, so you're already in debt. All we're doing is restructuring and reducing the overall debt by getting rid of this car. So you need the 4500 and then you need a buyer. You don't need a buyer till you have the money. Okay? okay. And don't borrow the money. Just get the loan arranged. Okay? So the bank has approved it. The credit union has approved it. They say you can come get 5000 Then you put the car up for sale. And then a buyer comes along and hands you a $19,000 check. You run over at the bank, pick up the $5,000 loan, put it with the $19,000 check, send it to Chrysler. They send the title. You give it to the buyer. That's how this works. Okay? Okay. Now, that's going to get you out of the car. You do not voluntarily repo it. Here's why. They will sell the car after repo, voluntary or otherwise, not for 19000 not for 15000 but for about 10000 It's a repo sale. And guess what? They're going to sue your butt for the difference. 13500 bucks if I'm right on my pricing. And so you go from a minor problem to a major problem. Okay. You lose control of the sale price when you hand them the keys. You follow me? Yeah. And you got to cover the difference either way. So sure. the other, prob the other problem is, of course, you'll have a repossession on your credit, which is, you know, like a foreclosure, a bankruptcy, or an IRS lien. These are the four worst things that can happen to your credit and or car repo. And so we don't want to start you out at 18 years old with that. That's not a good plan. So we're going to, we're going to, Get tight on the budget, beans and rice, rice and beans, no life. We're paying rent, car payment, and food and gas, and that's about it. And we're going to hold on, hold on, hold on until we can either save up the 4500 or we can get a loan for 4500 or 5000 or whatever it is, and we get a buyer lined up with it and get the car sold. If that takes you three or four months, you can make it. If it takes you five months, you can make it. I don't want it to. I want you to get rid of the stupid car. I want it out of your life. And I want the stress gone just for you, okay? And, and then you've learned your lesson. You're not going to borrow money anymore. And for God's sakes, don't borrow money again. from a relative anymore. Stop borrowing money. But the good news is you can clean up those other two little debts real fast, 800 and 800, right? Yeah. As soon as we get this car problem solved. But I want you to pay minimum payments on those right now, and let's get this car problem solved as fast as we possibly can. So let's save up the 4500 or get a loan and get out of the car. Did all that make sense to you? Yes. Any questions? Um, do you do you still think I'll be able to factor in? It'll probably be about two hundred and fifty dollars worth of insurance costs. Yeah. A you, month. Yeah. Okay. Three thousand two hundred. How much is your car payment? Four eighty. Okay. So. 3200 coming in in a month, right? Yeah. Minus 800. Minus 480. Minus insurance. Minus gas. Minus food. I still got money left, dude. You following me on the math and here? Whatever do so whatever is left of over, do you want me to save it? Put that into a debt snowball or save no, it? Put it in the savings because we got it. We're trying to come up with the four thousand five hundred. If you can't get it borrowed from a credit union, okay. If you get it borrowed from a credit union and you get rid of your car, then you start using it to work your debt snowball and get these debts paid off. So when you lose five thousand dollars on this car, I want you to remember this the rest of your life. You learned a very valuable lesson as a very young man. And you don't have to learn it twice. The bad news is you're paying $5,000 in stupid tax. The good news is you learn not to impulse a stupid butt car again and never borrow money on one again. And that'll change your whole life if you learn that lesson right now at 18 years old.